Hey there folks, Gizmo here and a welcome to the stream. So I'm super excited because SnowRunner is finally here. I've been waiting for this game for so long. Uh, actually not that long. Um, it took me a while to even notice that MudRunner even existed and once I picked that game up I I just fell in love with it. So I basically was so desperate to get this game and I'm so happy I got it I got the uh, deluxe edition so I got the season pass uh, I was always going to get it. It, it it's just such a fun game for me uh, so I'm just sharing this um, stream with people and uh, I haven't played it yet this is this is this is it this I'm, I'm discovering it brand new right now so I'm going to uh, share this stream with just a few people in groups that I'm in. That'll do. Okay, so let's get into it. Snow Runner. Oh, there we go. Music is kicking in now. Okay, so yeah, it's a, it's a brand new game. I have not played it yet. Let me turn this music down. I'm gonna put the music down to 25% right now just to uh, just for while I stream so this is this is uh, snow runner so yeah I've I'm so excited for this now I will point out this is probably the game this year other than like Final Fantasy 7 remake that I was most excited for honestly now this is not to say that the game is better than The Last of Us 2 because The Last of Us 2 the quality of that game is going to be insane however I was probably more excited for this than I am for The Last of Us 2 and I know that sounds silly but I think like this is not to say that this is a better game than The Last of Us 2 is going to be because you know it do, it doesn't matter it you can be excited for a crap game okay not to say that this is going to be a crap game okay so welcome to michigan thank you for joining our recover that recovery and maintenance effort after the devastating flood we need all the help available all help available saying so all the help to repair the bridge that collapsed it's our only link to the other side of the river Okay, so first I need to find a watchtower to get a view of my surroundings. Then I need to have a truck capable of transporting the materials, blah, blah, blah. Then after the bridge is repaired, I'll be able to reach my first garage. Okay, so let's go. Here I am. And straight off the bat, I'm going to say that uh, it looks better than Mudrunner. It, it really does, like you can see. But Mudrunner didn't have... Uh, the 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 graphics of Mudrunner were good in like a, a toned down like wait if that makes sense um so I can open the map so one thing I am super excited for um so this is this is the one map it's a pretty big map right and this is this is Michigan however there are four maps for Michigan there's like a tunnel over here you can go through which will take you to another area and then I'm assuming in that area there's another tunnel so there's four maps this is the Black River map in Michigan but there's there's three other maps and then the same for Alaska which I am so excited to get to Alaska and then the same for Russia not so excited for Russia but Alaska like driving through the snow I mean the game is called snow runner and it doesn't even plunk you into the snow straight away and I'm just like I just want to get to the snow so um, what have I got to do I've got to find the watchtower okay so where is the watchtower let's oh I got to take off oh controls have changed oh is there a way to get like legacy controls um, control scheme okay that looks more along the lines of let's just make sure clutch yeah there we go scheme B is legacy controls so basically the same controls as mud runner which is what i'm used to so i'm just going to switch it back to them i want to put in my all-wheel drive and we're off
there we go oh nice I like that as well so it's um, it, it it knows that I've like changed the controls so it changes the tutorial menus as well so the tutorial would usually say you know hold L1 or R1 whatever it was to switch to um, switch gears however now because it knows you know I've switched that to the right stick it's like okay well you switch it to the right stick so it's telling me how to use it with the right stick which is cool okay so let's see I want to go there okay how do I mark that up um, global map so okay so here we go I'm on the global map. This is, this is what I'm talking about so there's there's four four spots here so from Black River I can get to Smithville Dam and from Smithville Dam I can get to Island Lake and Drummond Island the Alaska there we go they're all linked these go they're not all interlinked so you can't get you can only get to one from each one but that's cool um, so how do I I can skip time that's cool um, I want to be able to okay add a destination point there we go I've got to use it. Right, there we go destination point Turn off my all wheel drive now that I'm on here. Don't really need it for driving on asphalt. And it's telling me, hold on, it's telling me that the watchtower is up over there. What watchtower am I going to then? I'm going to a complete. Oh, have I already got this watchtower then? Okay, well, it, it will we'll cancel. Uh, there we go clear the clear the route so I want to go to that watchtower up over there wait does he does he actually honk the horn or he does does he change gear he does change gear there we go oh hello oh hello Oh, hello. <laughs> because I wasn't going, because I was like steering at one point. I, I just kept trying to compensate for my oversteer and I was just going all over. What have I got in functions? Uh, just the winch then. Okay, so. Uh, reading terrain. Blah, blah, blah. Detour up and around there. Okay, let's. Uh... Now it is. It is very. One thing I must point out that this game is is very much like a hell of a lot bigger than the previous game. So the previous game didn't really have a story to it. You would start a map, and the idea was to basically carry logs from a log kiosk to a lumber yard and once you had filled up the lumber yards on that map you were completed that was it you've done that map you could go back and forth and carry on playing it and do whatever you wanted but like that was the main objective this game is insanely different you have like proper missions to do and things like you have to take certain things to certain places and it's it's not as much uh, it's not as simple as you know just going from one wood lumber yard to another it's not as simple as that it's uh, very much you know doing proper missions for people and 
you you change the landscape as well so like I've got to build the bridge and then once I've built the bridge I can use it and things like that but uh, I just I just love the game it, it's kind of chilled and relaxing at the same time as just having just enough excitement to keep you on the edge of your seat and it's just I just love games like this right so here we are we're at this watchtower so I've discovered my first what first watchtower my life I cannot talk today discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map to repair the bridge you will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials open your map to look at your surroundings find a truck capable of transporting the materials needed to repair the bridge so there's going to be a truck somewhere around here it's already marked up on the map anyway so I need to go and pick up this uh, Chevrolet CK1500 press a string to open the map well, I don't know what's going on here okay uh, by pressing you can place markers to help you navigate you can delete last marker okay that's fine yeah so you can you can zoom in like the markers don't so if I put a marker here right there that's just gonna say oh drive straight here so what you what you need to do is you basically need to go there's a marker there's a marker there's a marker down to here and then up to there and I'll figure it out when I get there so see that's what you do I, I'm just cutting corners here making it quick so oh hello what's going on here I've moved my camera over the wrong way okay so okay so up this way wait where am I going right my Oh no, I am going the right way. I think I've I think I'm just going back on myself now, maybe. Oh here we go. Me see how well this works so I want to put it into low gear there we go one thing that's a little awkward straight off the bat is the gears I know I switched it to the same controls as in the last game but in the last game you would you would tap R3 and then it would tell you to move it into a gear but if you tap R3 now you, it doesn't work you had to hold R3 and then move it into gears which isn't hard it's just something that it, it's going to take a little getting used to since I've been playing the other one a lot more okay so that was a, that was a pretty short distance down to here let's let's quickly check so I was I was there and I've gone and gone all the way down here and down to around here so let's see the, the map is the map isn't as huge as it probably looks when you first see it however there's four maps just for Michigan and then four maps for, for Alaska three maps for Russia and then the DLC each DLC will have its own region so that's just huge areas I found my first highway truck this truck is designed for roads so there are no off-road options included try not to fall into the swamp or drive into deep mud with it you can find out more blah 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 okay so change truck okay okay so press this and I've got to go to contracts contracts there we go so click on that I've got to repair that okay so have I, have I accepted it oh here we go okay so I've got to deliver those activate can I activate both of them at the same time no I can't so I've got to okay first things first I've got to collect some wood 
uh, no, no, what the metal planks from there. So I pick them up from there, which is the little arrow pointing upwards, and I drop them off there, which is the little arrow pointing downwards. Okay. So I've got to go into town. Oh, it's raining. I wonder how much um, rain is going to affect the traction. Oh, hello. Yikes. That wasn't good. Right, uh, you've done it. You can open the function to get more information about each oh okay there we go so if i look how do i do it sorry hmm. now i've pressed up So, you have damaged your vehicle. You can open the function menu up to get more details about the damaged parts. I have done that, but it's not giving me any details. Like, do, like how do I... Wait, maybe... Oh, there we go. That's why I hadn't closed the, the little thing. There we go. So I can see... Wow, okay, that's new. So before on the, the other one, you would damage, like, you would just damage your truck. Like, it would just, the whole truck would be damaged. Um, there wouldn't be specific parts that were damaged. But this, now, you damage individual parts of the truck. So I've damaged my right rear wheel, but it's, it's barely damaged. And I've damaged a little bit of my suspension. That's fine. I can live with that. I think, I don't think that was by accident i think it was part of the game mechanic i think you're meant to damage it so you it will you know teach you hey you damage your truck and i'm going completely the wrong way um so i need to go and pick up from here so i'm just going to mark that it's not going to give me like a full guide on how to get there but As long as I know which way I'm going. Let's have a look inside this truck. Very nice. What time is it? How do I find out the time? It's... Where's the time? Oh, there it is. Afternoon. It's only half one in the afternoon. It's so dark. I'm guessing it's because there's clouds in the sky and it's raining. How easy is it to attach the winch? Oh, I've, I, oh, it's like a quick winch. Oh, that's weird. So it just connects to like something and I would guess that's easier to release though the winch was something that was very handy in the previous game however you could choose like what it attached to um, I wonder if that's like a setting uh, game so doesn't seem to to say anything so I'm guessing it's just a quick winch that just attaches to whatever it, atta it attaches to I'm guessing what the hell was that okay so this is oh this is how much of uh, everything I've explored so I've explored one percent of the entire game um, oh trophies are locked over here so you can see oh that's cool okay so it tracks so you can see how close you are to getting to each getting each trophy that's cool contests tasks contracts so these are all the contracts that are in the game I'm guessing well this is all the contracts that are in Alaska and Michigan and then there's okay so there's all the contracts for Alaska okay that's cool I don't want to look too much into them I don't want to ruin anything no 
spoilers. Not the best driver, as you can see. Ah! Oof. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I, I know I can repair vehicles. At, oh, no, damn it. Okay. Right. Go back. Right. Go slowly forward and turn before I start moving. There we go. And now I'm going to crash into that wall. No, nope, I'm good. Right. Cargo management. Right, I need some metal planks. Auto load. There we go. Right, now I need to get to there. Now you won't see uh, you won't see like other cars on the road and you won't see like other people wandering around it's very uh, very much just you driving your truck around and, and some people don't like that I like it um, I mean it would be cool if there was other traffic on the road it would add to the realism I guess especially like around towns like at least around towns like I'm sure Driving down mud trails and stuff, you wouldn't see many people normally, but uh, driving down around these little towns and stuff, that'd be cool. Now, it's telling me... Um... I'm I'm probably shouldn't be doing this because I shouldn't it's telling me there's a thingy but let's let's see what happens. We can get through here I'm sure. There we go, yeah that's fine. I don't need to take your detour. Go away. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I've got to drop them. So start slowing down now. The brakes on this thing work a lot better than I expect when I press them. I press them and I expect it to, you know, take forever to slow down, but it slows down really quick. And then my, I just look like I've slammed my brakes on. Okay, there we go. So they've they've built the metal base now I need to close that now I need to collect the wooden planks which I get from the lumber mill which is there so let's go collect them And if I'm if I'm honest, oh crap! If I'm honest, I can't drive. Uh, if I'm honest, like this this bit is a bit boring, um, and I don't mean that like to say that the game is boring. I mean, I love this game 
when you're driving through the mud and when you're you know going off road and stuff driving back and forth along you know a, a asphalt road is is not the most exciting gameplay in the world it's not it's just you know it's going back and forth completing tasks i like doing the missions where you are driving over the rough terrain and trying to you know avoid getting stuck in the mud and it's just a lot more fun and that that will come later clearly you know i am just in the very early stages of the game right now where am i going um yeah this is this is the way so this is the way i took my little jeep or whatever it was and i don't think it's a good idea to take this vehicle this way i think maybe if i because it's very it's, it's, should i just do it screw it let's just do it i can do it this is not designed to go off-roading through mud as we can see right now since i am getting stuck right. gonna go into a low gear use the winch um, okay come on I actually kind of do like how the winch works now I just wish there was a, like a, a marker to show you what it's going to attach to so it doesn't just attach to what you're looking at, it attaches to something in the direction you're looking. Which is great, however, like, it'd be not, it would be nice to be... Ah, bleh. Oh my life, I cannot talk. It would be nice to know what it's going to attach to, because it's pointless attaching it to like a little bush, which is sometimes what it attaches to. Because the bush will just snap in half. So it'd be nice if you could kind of see where it was aiming. I don't know if that's something that is in the menus. Let's have a look real quick. Um, so I'm going to hide the HUD, which is something that I might do if I get some uh, time because I like taking games in pictures. Uh, pictures in games. Games in pictures are my life. I am just. I will point out I didn't sleep last night at all. I, I got about two hours sleep last night. I'm exhausted. I'm just so tired. Alright, just let it roll down here. No need to accelerate. Okay, we're off again. Thought I was gonna get stuck again then, but we're good. Okay, there we go, we made it. Okay, uh, let's see, how do I get into here? I think I can go this way. two packs of them there we go that's perfect All right and then we just need to get back down to there I don't know if I can go this way, but I'm going to attempt it. Right, so, ooh, okay, yeah, this should be okay. I think, maybe. What time is it? It's getting on for half five. It's going to be dark soon. Time goes pretty quick.
Are there any birds we can scare? Nope. Okay, so I gotta get across here. This this is fine, this isn't gonna cause me a problem. This hill here might cause me a problem, but I think I should be okay. I think I should be able to get enough speed up to not have too many issues getting up this hill if I don't hit that little bump there. Yeah, there we go, that was fine. Okay, so the bridge will be repaired in a second. Oh crap! Ah, no, 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 no! I oversteered. No, 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 I'm oversteering again. Steering is definitely easier from inside the truck, but again, inside the truck you can't see as much. I like to be able to, you know, see everything that's going on. Right, so we pull up here. We unload that. I think I just got like a level up or something. Or I was promoted or something. I don't know what it was, but there we go. Yeah, I've been promoted. Okay, new driver rank unlocked. When you get enough experience, you get a new driver rank. Every driver, every rank provides you with new options regarding vehicle and add-on purchasing. Purchasing. Oh, my life still can't talk. Uh, objectives may also require you to reach a certain driver rank before they are unlocked. Press down to access your driver profile. Okay, so there we go. I, I've so. I'm at level two, which got me. Uh, I, I, okay, so I finished. I finished three missions. Three missions. Okay, first mission. First mission: driving to find that truck. Second mission: driving to. Oh no! First mission would be driving to the um, waypoint or watchtower. Second mission: unlocking the truck. Third mission repairing the bridge okay so that's three of 82 missions and I'm assuming would you get further through the missions just get longer I've unlocked two two of eight vehicles from this area I've unlocked one of 26 watchtowers from this area and I've got zero of 21 upgrades so yeah there we go so there's there's two vehicles to unlock in Alaska there's one vehicle to unlock in Russia um, out of everything so here's everything so there's 65 upgrades 54 watchtowers and 11 vehicles that's not all the vehicles in the game I'm thinking now I should be able to go to the garage okay every contract surprise you with money and experience every watchtower will give you experience experience allows you to go through driver ranks blah 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 and okay that's all good right so now we repaired the bridge find the garage so there's 40 vehicles in the game anyway that's what I was uh, saying there's 40 vehicles and whoa okay the garage is a long way away right so okay we wanna, wanna mark up the garage so I need to so if I go across here get to here and then that should I should be able to find it from there I'm gonna I'm gonna skip to daytime because yeah skip time okay so how do I skip okay night time morning there we go I don't think fuel runs down when you skip time either I didn't pay attention to how much fuel I had prior to skipping time but I don't think it went down before on mud runner if you skip time you would lose some fuel so like I don't think that's oh okay so this says garage is this way that is not the way I was going to go I was going to go that way however this says the garage is this way so let's let's go the way it's telling me to go it might uh, save me a bit of time
this this one this truck does not handle well on the mud I mean he did say it was a road truck it's not designed to go on the mud but poor blimey it, it really handles badly here we go there's here's a road to be honest I'm just desperate to get to Alaska um, I kind of I do like that the game has these other areas I like the fact that you've got is this Michigan I can't remember if it was Michigan was it Michigan Michigan yeah like I like Michigan because it, it's very similar to Mud Runner it's it's very you know focused on on mud and dirt and stuff but then Alaska is gonna be focused on snow I just feel like some people may not like it because you know the game is called snow runner and they may be expecting more of a you know constant snow theme I I'm happy with how it's broken up you've got Michigan which is probably like the the, the training wheels if you will there's there's a lot of roads but there's also a lot of dirt tracks and then I'm going to assume Alaska is just going to be snow everywhere. And then Russia, I'm going to assume is going to be mud everywhere. So uh, it's very much kind of like three different styles of map. Um, okay, so I can't move the camera down to, because the rocks are here, which is a bit weird. Well, maybe if I move it in. I'm trying to see what's up over there. Okay, so... The garage is literally off this road. The issue I've got is that's a lot of mud. But let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can get through it. If I just plow through. Yeah, it's good. There wasn't it was it looked a lot deeper than it was. Once I get up some speed, the pro I, I'm, I'm not used to driving truck games at all. And once I get up some speed, if I like try and steer just a little bit, I always oversteer and then I end up just kind of swerving from left to right. Okay, All right here we go. Garage discovered. You have discovered your first garage. What? you have done so far is the meat of the game explore and discover watchtowers complete contracts to earn rewards and find garages to improve now let's get inside so what you've done so far is the meat of the game well that that sounds bad when you think of it like that okay so i went back and forth and thing but that's not the meat of the game really the meat of the game yes it is what you're doing but like I've been driving on small roads, it's just been easy getting back and forth to from each spot to each spot. Like the meat of the game is really the mud trails and, and you know, getting stuck and having to, you know, use trucks uh in tandem to get jobs done. That's the meat of the game. Like the meat of the game isn't just going back and forth down a road. It it, it that sounds really boring. Anyway, Let's get inside and see what we've got. Okay, so I've unlocked a another truck, apparently. Just by getting here, let's go to the garage. Okay, so. Oh, I got a trophy. Uh, the garage is used to store, upgrade, customize, buy and sell vehicles, but also for traveling to other regions. You will have to find a garage in the location to unlock and use it. Not every location has a garage in it, so be sure to keep that in mind. Where your closest garage is, blah, blah, blah. Okay, truck store, let's have a look. So truck store, we've got a lot of trucks in here now. I got all the DLC trucks as well, apart from the one. The only DLC truck I don't have is the one that you get for pre-ordering because I got the game digitally. Um, with this whole coronavirus thing um i hate it because i love my physical discs and with other games i am kind of just getting them physically like like with uh, final fantasy 7 remake i despite the fact that i really wanted it i wanted the physical copy and i was like I want the physical copy so I, I was willing to wait a few days 
if needs be. Thankfully, it came early. With this, I did want the physical copy, but I was... Yeah, I was just like, you know what, like... I really am excited to play it and if if all of my friends are playing it while I haven't got it I'm gonna be disappointed so I was just like you know what I'm just gonna get it digitally so like I said I got I got the premium one which has the season pass so I've got everything apart from the one truck now it's two pound for that truck or two dollars whatever and I'm like I can buy it but I don't know if there's any real need I'm gonna look online and see if it's a truck that's worth it I don't want something that's a bit OP that I'm going to end up using and it's going to kind of ruin the game for me because I'm going to be going from the very start of the game with the most powerful truck in the game it's, it's pointless but if it's something that complements the game quite well I might buy it but um, this truck is not available in USA what does that mean this truck is not available in Oh, okay, so this is this truck is going to be only available if I'm in Russia. So I can't use these trucks in the um, USA maps. I have to use them in the Russian maps. Got it. I was panicking then because I actually got this. I, was like, I got this off the uh, USA PSN store as well because yeah I had I had a bunch of money left on my uh, American account from when I bought a few other games and I was like if I just top up I can get this for cheaper than it would cost me to just buy it straight out on the UK store the only thing I had to really do was just wait a few more hours I had to wait until 4pm so I had to wait what 16 hours from when it came out here which was a bit annoying but Anyway, um, yeah, so there's a ton of trucks. So, customize. Let's see, what can I customize on this? Okay, so, I can, oh, I can customize the engine. Uh, the engine is the heart of your vehicle. The main characteristic is power. Powerful engines provide you with sufficient speed and help you traversing tricky off road terrain. Fuel consumption is affected by your chosen engine. More powerful engines generally consume more fuel. Well, that makes sense. Uh, Part integrity infects how much punishment the part will take before going out of order. Okay, so yeah, so so fuel consumption, durability. It said part integrity, but I'm guessing that's durability. Okay, so I can I can put on new engines. That's cool. Um, I can change visuals. Oh, I can change the color. That's cool. Man, there's a lot of customization in here. Like, I didn't expect that. Damn. That's a lot of customization. I really didn't expect this much, this much customization. I just kind of thought, you know, oh, you can change the color, but, like, there's a lot of stuff here. And I'm going to assume that a lot of this is, like actually what's available for these trucks because the trucks are licensed i'm going to assume that uh that's what you want you want a snorkel then you can go through uh, really deep water oh hello i can add a whole damn crane flatbed um i wonder if once you once you've purchased these items like these Oh, excuse me. These add-ons, I wonder if like you can just interchange them. Like just put them on whenever you want because that was something that made the other game a lot easier. You could just go to a garage and just quickly flick between like a crane with like a, a flatbed to put your logs on or then you could just quickly change to a, a fuel tank and you could just switch between them just on the fly as you were driving through garages I'm guessing that's not what's gonna happen here I'm guessing this is like literally more of a career so you know you buy a truck and then you add something on it and if you want a truck with a crane you're gonna have to either remove the other thing and then add a crane to it or buy another truck or it's weird uh, traveling you don't have to complete everything in your current location before moving to the next some interesting trucks or other resources 
uh, or resources can only be found in other locations and regions so let's do some traveling prepare your truck for transportation using the retain function with square okay uh, retain your vehicle is now placed in the truck storage you are ready to travel go to the global map with triangle global map oh you know where i'm going let's go visit alaska yes alaska uh yeah i'm going to alaska i'm so excited for alaska it's it's actually alaska is one place i've always wanted to live like um alaska or canada i love the snow i'm a i'm a cold person i hate the sun i don't like rain but snow like cold weather just i love it it's empty because your vehicle is still in storage go to the truck storage and see how it works okay truck truck store no um trucks there we go okay there it is you can now deploy your retained vehicle okay so deploy okay i think i've deployed it yeah there we go it's here so then i leave garage Hooray, I'm in Alaska! Welcome to Alaska! Now you know the basics of the game, it's up to you to scout, accept contracts, upgrade or buy new vehicles and conquer the wilderness. Completing contracts in Alaska might be tougher because of the weather conditions. If you want to be more prepared you are free to come back to Michigan and explore Alaska later. Don't forget to scout uncharted areas, discover watchtowers and win contracts from the... Okay. So here I am, I am in Alaska. And ooh, look at that. So big ass map. And this is just just one spot. Uh I'm still okay. You have a garage waiting for you here. This is your primary base of operations for the time being. Let's get inside. So let's garage in the objects tab to enter it. I I do believe that I was objects tab garage okay there we go okay yeah so okay why why was it telling me to empty and enter, enter the garage um okay so what what's going on okay so i've 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 entered the garage however my truck i, I don't know what i just did i just get that okay so that's the dlc truck that i've got i still have to i have to buy it um mm, so i i entered i did what it said and i entered here however oh actually no i, I own that truck there we go i own it i can sell it but it's it's a dlc truck right so i can i can deploy that So now, if I leave the garage, um, okay, well that's a problem. That's definitely a problem here. I, I'm guess unless it's supposed to do that, like, if you want to like load up. Okay, I'm guessing it's because like I deployed them at the same spot, right? So, so if I select the garage again let's see this might be what the problem was so there's nothing in here so now if I go to the so if I go to the local map and then ah then I select the vehicle got it okay that's what I was doing wrong I think for now what I'm gonna do just because I want to explore Alaska is I'm gonna switch to this I want to oh, okay so four-wheel drive is always on so let's go for a little drive around and see what Alaska has to offer oh this thing's uh, a little oh hello this thing <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't need to know about attaching trailers right now. Right, let's uh, let's switch out of this. This 
I'm not sure if it's the roads that are icy or if it's this this vehicle, but let's see see what it's like. Cause this thing is sliding everywhere. I can feel it tugging as I'm trying to steer. Oi! Whoa! Hello. <laughs> Yeah, this ice is awesome to drive on. Like you can, it, it's weird. It's like you can actually feel it under your tires. It's fine when you're going in a straight line, but when you try and turn, you can just you can just feel that it's sliding. It's really weird. I don't actually know where I'm going. Let's let's go and unlock this one watchtower real quick. So there we go. Now I will, I will, I know you can kind of just play however you want, you can just start on any of the maps and just go through it, but I, I do think I'm going to go back to Michigan in a moment and continue through the story starting with Michigan first. Oh, hello. Okay, right. There doesn't seem to be any discernible road here. Uh, <laughs> however, where I need to go is literally the other side of there. This looks like the road does go off to the left here, so it's just covered in a bit of snow, so we can go around here. I'm actually stuck on a branch here. That's kind of cool. Okay. Checking this this water's frozen. I can't tell if it's frozen. It looks like it might be frozen. It's not frozen, it's not frozen. Ah. Oh, I was kinda hoping it was frozen. I wanted to uh drive across it. Oh okay, now I can see the ripples. At certain angles it, you can't really see any ripples, and I thought maybe it was frozen. No, 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 Oh, poo. Okay, so I guess I'm going back to my other truck. Um, can I, actually, can I just recall this? I can recover it straight to the garage, which is probably what I'm going to do, actually. There we go. That's cool that like you're not like colliding with that. I actually do like that. Can I run over these cones? I can run over the cones. Yeah. Right, let's let's try and get to that uh, waypoint again. That watchtower, whatever it is. Whoa! 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 <laughs> I just completely lost all traction. Then I don't know if you can hear it. Like, uh, the engine, like, made a weird noise. I don't know how to describe it. But, uh, yeah, I lost all traction then. I was going a bit too fast. Now, the idea of this game is not to race around everywhere, which is what I'm doing. I'm just impatient, and I'm just kind of, like driving like a nut job but I mean slow and steady wins the race in this game it, it's very much you know drive, drive as slow as you can and just make sure that every bit of fuel that you're using is meant is needed to be used you know don't waste fuel I can't tell you how many times I was playing on uh, Mud Runner and I'd almost completed my objective and I got a bit cocky with my fuel and ended up just having to send out like a completely new truck to save the other one. Oh 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 no 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 the winch snapped. I'm literally stuck on this branch. 
Come on. Okay, let's let's go around a little bit. This vehicle is uh, seems to have a hell of a lot of traction. feel like this is a bit of a cheaty truck as well. I might not use this. I'm going to use it now just to get to this uh, watchtower, but other than that I might avoid using this because it does seem like it's a little overpowered. It seems to not have any issues when it comes to traction. It seems to just dig into the mud and just grip. There we go. Tasks are small additional objectives that will often make your life easier by unlocking new paths. It's also a good opportunity to earn money. They are discovered when exploring the world. Okay. Launch observation. What's that? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a little cutscene. Shows you, like... Oh, that's cool. I like that. Right, I'm going to go back to the garage and I'm going to load up my other truck into the garage and take it back to Michigan and continue with the story there then. I won't stream much longer because I want to eat something as well. I've, uh, I've not really ate today so I'm going to get myself something to eat in a minute. I don't want to be munching on things down the microphone. But uh, I, I love this game already, like, I'm getting used to it. I, I can't drive for crap, I really can't, I'm all over the damn place. But it still doesn't change the fact that I, I find it really fun. Oh, 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 slide in, slide in, slide in, slide in, no, 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 no. Let's uh, let's see what happens if I if I'm, I'm going to see right here. I'm going to drive. Let's see how fast I can get, and then I'm just going to slam my brakes on and see what happens. If I can get in a straight line, it's sliding all over. Right, let's break now. I'm still breaking. Still, <laughs> it just slides. That's kind of cool. Oh, hello. Ooh. I'm tired, so tired today. Right. Oh, that truck's still running. Didn't realise. Can hear it now. I'm here. Right? How do I? Um, um, how do I put this truck into here again? Now I've forgotten. Change to this truck. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This is the this is the garage. How do I? Uh... Okay, I'm in. I'm in here. I can't remember how to get the damn thing into the garage now. I guess just recover. I'm guessing you can just recover it. Um. There we go. 
Uh, so, right, I want to switch to this, and I want to store this. So I want to retain. I don't. I don't care about that. That can stay here. I don't really need it. So then I want to go to the global map and I want to go back to Michigan and move to garage there we go so I'm going to carry on with the story unlock what I can here try and get this up to a hundred percent and then move on to Alaska I reckon If I need to go back and forth, I will go back and forth, but I, I, I don't want to kind of spend tons of time on Alaska if it's if it's easier to just kind of get to grips with everything on here right now. Trucks, that I can deploy it. There we go, and then leave garage. Okay. So let's see. I'll do one more mission and then I'm gonna go get myself some food. Okay, so I've unlocked some other trucks as well. I've unlocked a Fleet Star down there. It's got no fuel and a bunch of stuff is broken on it. I'm guessing I've gotta repair that. And there's that Chevrolet that I had earlier. Oh, excuse me, I was so tired. Okay, there's upgrades hidden around the map as well. Anyway, right, contract. Husky, oh, there's a few. Okay. Husky forwarding, Dyson Diesel, or Steel River Township. Let's see what they want me to do. This one, whoa, okay, this one wants me to do a lot. Um, this one, not so many. That one, I've already done a few. So let's let's finish off the Steel River Township and then we'll move on to the Dyson Diesel and then we'll go on to the Husky one because the Husky one has a lot. Uh, so we'll go for the supplies. So I need to deliver the fuel carrier trailer to the town storage. So I've got to pick it up from here. Oh wait, where am I? Where am I? move to me so yeah if I pick it up from here because there's no point going down to here I can just pick it up from here and go straight up to here and then down to there so I want to I want to pick it up from the farm so have I accepted that I believe I have I had to slow down a bit then because I didn't want to plow through that at full speed and lose control and slam into something. Now I'm going to assume that they've put in a hell of a lot of detail into this game as well like they did the last one. There was a lot of details in mud runner that I absolutely loved like if you got stuck in water you would see like bits of diesel like running around the water would go from clear to like that rainbowy color when when the oil and the diesel and the fuel just mixed with it which is great the um, like if you were where if you were driving a truck that had like a, a 
like a fabric curtain uh, at the back of it that curtain would get wet when you went through water and then eventually dry off it was just a lot of detail to things and I'm hoping that's on this right so what did I need I have this consumables I don't need consumables although apparently that's all there is right here um, I'm sure it said oh wait wait the consumables I can collect from here right but okay so I can collect okay the fuel there we go the fuel carrier trailer is there it's the consumables that I can pick up from here so okay so I'll pick up the two consumables and I'll take them right there we go got two consumables right and then I'm going to delete all of them so then I want to go to there to there and then if I get down to like the middle of town I'll know where I'm going then I really want to drive on that I'm not gonna because I'll probably fall off but I really want to I just keep yawning, I'm so tired. And hungry, ridiculously hungry too. I wanna go down there and splash in all that water. I mean as well like I don't think uh, this is a bad looking game this is a pretty nice looking game I mean you know it's not it's not on par with Red Dead Redemption 2 don't get me wrong but I think it does everything perfectly I don't think it needs to be any better looking than this I think it looks great as it is there's a few washed out textures but you know it does its job and I don't see there's, that there's a problem with it. I think it looks really nice. It's uh, it's 15 gigabytes the download and uh, I don't I don't know how much space uh, Mudrunner takes up. I can't remember. I think Mudrunner is a lot smaller but my like with all the DLC and stuff I think it might oh whoa 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 too fast that was not good but I'm good I, I can still keep going I've damaged a few bits but I'm good Mudrunner obviously I I've got the American Wild version which comes with all the DLC so um, I think it takes up a decent amount of space but I still don't think it's as big as this I just can't wait for the DLC like more areas I'm, I'm very much an open world nut um, I will buy crap games as long as they've got like an open world oh I hear a dog or wait can I see a dog I thought I saw a dog then maybe not there's a lot of games that I've purchased over the years that were, were pretty bad games but they had an awesome open world so I loved them
know where uh, hold on what's going on here where am I meant to be taking this isn't it here it is here I think I don't want I don't need to load I'm I'm curious now I don't know oh wait is it around there it's coming up with a little thing saying around there oh damn it what do I crash into now what, what the hell is that oh it's a fire hydrant okay I'm about to crash into it again no I'm good This is not where I'm meant to be dropping it off. It's got to be around the other. Oh, maybe there? No, because there's those metal things there. It's got to be there where I was a minute ago, but for some reason. Oh, I've, I've found the trailer. How do I unload these? I clearly must be missing something, right? Okay, so consumables. I've collected the consumables and I have to drop them off. Here, it says I have to drop them off here. Let's skip time until it's morning because I can see better then. Right. Cargo management. Hmm. It is confusion. these here functions unpack cargo um, okay so I'm a little confused um, so I've got these two I've got the items here I'm at where I would assume I need to drop them off however it's not letting me drop them off I picked up the consumables oh wait oh wait I've, I've activated it now maybe I did it wrong maybe I hadn't activated it there we go, I just hadn't activated it. Okay, so Steel River Supplies, there we go. I hadn't activated the mission. So there we go, right, that should be done it now. That was a little confusing. Okay, so that's done, there we go, I've got two consumables, done. So now I need to get the wooden planks, which I get from the lumber yard, which is here. There's nowhere closer. Nope. Okay. So that's one thing I have to. No, I need to remember. I need to activate it, which is uh, one of the D-pad buttons, whichever one it was. So if I go to this one, so accept. I have to accept it, which is right on the D-pad. Didn't notice that earlier. Wasn't paying attention. Okay. 
Ah, okay, this is cool. So once I've accepted it, it's it's showing me where I have to go to collect the next items. So I'm going to complete this mission and then I'm going to call it a day for now to go and get something to eat because my stomach is just going crazy right now. Can you hear people singing? People are singing in the church. That's cool. I didn't expect that. I like that. That's why we're not seeing anyone on the roads or on any of the paths. They're all at church. I just keep yawning, I'm sorry, I'm just so tired. Oh, bum. Keep down while breaking it. Oh, I'm bouncing down here. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some wood planks now and then we go back Now, I'm not sure if this is a bad thing yet. Oh, look at the suspension go on this thing. I reckon it that's because of how damaged it is. How, da how badly did I damage it? My suspension, eh, not terrible to be honest. It's damaged a bit, but... Now, I'm going to hands down say that this may actually be a bit more tedious than the previous game. Because I'm having to go back and forth to the same place over short distances and that is a bit boring right now. Uh, well, not boring, I mean, it's good, but like to get to like the really long drives, which is what made the other game fun, like everything was just such a long distance from each other and you'd have to kind of just always be driving through rough terrain like this, going back and forth around town it's not 100% doing it for me. I'm happy with the game. I am, I am enjoying it. This is still fun. Um, it's just not as fun as when you, you know, having to drive through huge puddles and uphills and through mountains and stuff like that to get to where you need to go. And if you crash or something you're kind of screwed at that point that's what i liked about it it was just that ah oh, crap i've got to do it all again if i cock up so anyway uh last item is there because there's a fallen power line there oh so i can't do anything until i've repaired that like picked up that power line or something i don't know how i do that that's kind of cool okay so i need to head to the farm head up behind the farm and up to there
So let's uh, let's quickly put in a marker for the farm. Oh, did it the wrong way. Right, so I want to go to there and then to there, so I know where to pull in. They're still at church. What time is it? Oh, it's still it's still nine in the morning. That's fine. I wonder if like they stop singing at a certain time. Like it's like oh yeah, there we go. It's uh, it's now, you know, three o'clock in the afternoon. No one's at church anymore, so there's no singing. Goodbye. I saw a few reviews for this game and there was um, there was some weird ones if I'm honest. There were some people who clearly didn't understand what the game was about. Like the the one person sounded like he was trying to compare it to like a racing game like a, a sport style right? like Gran Turismo or something like it, it was literally like his comparisons were all based on games like that then I had someone who then I saw one where someone was complaining about um, there not being the ability to get out of your vehicle and wander around town and I'm like you don't really need that in my personal opinion you don't need to be able to get out of a vehicle you can swap vehicles that's fine by me I don't need to be able to get out of my vehicle and walk around it's not Grand Theft Auto um, some, of the, some of the reviews seemed a bit unfair Hon honestly like if you've played Mudrunner the gameplay is pretty much exactly the same just on a much bigger scale I mean it may be it, it, it's a little slower to start with because it's it's got a storyline it's got like actual locations that you you change like I'm building bridges and then I can cross them bridges and and you make alterations to the terrain around you when you complete your missions and stuff like that that's great I I still think this is better than Mudrunner I just think that Mudrunner Mudrunner had was a very, very much a one-trick pony. Mudrunner, you know, you would start on a map uh, at a garage. You would go and unlock all the waypoints, unlock all the garages, and then take all the stuff to the lumber yard. Take all the logs to the lumber yard. Lumber. Now oh, my life can't talk. Take all the logs to the lumber yard, and then that was it. There was nothing else. This is not that. This expands on that so instead of just taking logs to a lumber yard because that's what you've been told to do and that's what the game entails you're completing missions progressing a story helping a region and like it's a much bigger experience you've got these huge maps instead of just small maps so we're very self-contained you know it was very much okay complete this mission okay you've done that's this map done Whereas this is, you know, bigger maps and you have a lot more stuff to do in them. So, I'd, st I'd definitely say it it's better than Mudrunner. Like, even, I haven't played much of it and I can tell you it's better than Mudrunner because it plays like Mudrunner. It really does. It plays very, it feels very much the same. However, it's a lot, like I said, it's a lot bigger and there's a lot more to do. There's no visible ports for that, so let's let's switch to a low gear.
Hmm. I seem to only have I got this does not have differential luck and there's no visible points to attach my winch so we'll try going backwards oh I can't go backwards because I'm in oh, there we go. see this is where it gets good when you get stuck in things okay try and minimize the amount of spin I get on my tires I do believe I'm stuck. <laughs> I can get out of here if I really need to. I, oh wow, I can always recall the truck, but... But it's, it, it's not hard to get out of any kind of situation where you're stuck, really, as long as you know what you're doing. You don't want to just ram your vehicle into like a high gear and just try and get you want to stay in a low gear and you want to move your tires back and forth get a bit of traction to be fair i don't know why i'm doing that with my front tires this is rear wheel drive only so like it's not going to do anything however i should if i stay in a low gear now if i go slow All I need to do is get to somewhere where I can hook my winch onto something and I should be good. I, once I get to, to there, like you can see where the, the mud dries off, once I get to there I should be good. Pressing all the wrong buttons there. It's raining now <laughs> if this uh, if rain affects the mud then I'm even more screwed because this is just gonna get harder to get out of is there anything that I can winch on to if I can get my winch on to anything nope I think it's safe to say I might need to actually reset because I haven't got another truck I can use to pull myself out. I kind of want to get out but I also kind of want to just get this over with so I can eat. This truck had either all wheel drive or differential lock we'd be we'd be fine. Oh got thunder as well I think it's safe to say that it's probably best for me to uh, recover this truck okay so it's this one and I want to how do I recover it now no oh okay I remember how to do it yeah functions recover there we go 
so it's repaired at least now. I'm going back there anyway, literally straight back there because I, I still need to get up to that fuel carrier and I believe going through the farm is going to be the best way to do it. There may be a better way but because I haven't explored all the map yet I don't know. It's a bit miserable looking. Uh, I wonder is is there potentially that's potentially a way up there through there and up but I I really don't know let's go for it I can always recall the truck if I need to it might be an easier way to get there won't know until we try um okay it might not be because it's going up a hill I don't think this truck's gonna make it up a hill if it gets in any mud okay we're already stuck This tree is going to cause problems. Oh no, no, all good. Okay, these rocks are going to cause more problems too because they'll slow me down so I'll lose traction. But I will get traction back going over the rocks so it, it kind of balances out but it's not, it's not great. And this is what I mean about the, the winch. Like, I can't choose where it attaches. I just attached it to some trees that just got pulled down. This is probably not the best idea trying to get up this hill. That's just going to pull that tree out of the ground now. And now I'm stuck still just with a tree on the floor. it's just attaching to that there and I don't want it attaching to that what am I doing? I'm pressing the buttons that I'm used to pressing on the uh, last game winch oh okay so I can choose can I choose where I attach it I attach it nope. I want to attach it to that tree there that one that's what I want to attach it to but for some reason ah there we go right, attach winch select Why is it not highlighting it? It's highlighting that one. I don't want to attach it to that one. Ah, there we go. That's how I do it. Right, let's go. Oh, my handbrake's on. Why is my handbrake on? No wonder I wasn't moving. Oh my life. Stuck on that one rock there. Okay, well, 
I seem to be completely stuck here. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I moved a little bit. I think it's safe to say I'm stuck here too. So we'll recover this truck again. To be honest, I've just noticed the time. It's it's already like nearly 7 p.m. and I, I've not ate yet. I think I'm just gonna go get myself some food and then I'll come back on here later. I don't know if I'll stream then. Depends how I feel. I feel rough right now. Like this is what you get for going like I mean I I, I slept I slept for about two hours last night which was probably about 4 a.m. till 6 a.m. Um, and the last time I ate anything was last night at say what 7 p.m. so it's been literally nearly almost 24 hours since I ate anything so yeah I think I'm gonna go get myself some food because I feel sick but uh, Thank you to, to those people that were here watching. Sorry, I got stuck twice and uh, yeah, it probably wasn't exciting to watch. Um, but honestly, like I, I really like this game. The customization is gonna be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some trucks that are like my favorite trucks that I just use all the time and I'll fully customize those up. But, um, oh, we're gonna get a pink one yay pink truck um but yeah um i'm gonna just give my first impressions of this game and i'm just gonna say that i love it i really do like it it it's not for everyone don't get me wrong if you liked mud runner or maybe you didn't play mud runner and you played the original spin tires and you liked that like it is very much just it's it's the same basic principle just expanded it's just a much larger more in-depth experience it's it's less of going from point a to point b and that's it it's more an all-encompassing story you know like the i think the the simple idea for, for michigan anyway is that there's been a huge flood and it's destroyed a lot of the town and you've got to help rebuild it it's um and then i don't know what alaska and russia do but i mean on 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 scale like i mean you saw the map you you've seen the map here so like i've just been driving from here up to the town here and um where i just went like this hill this is where i got to like here somewhere and got stuck and then the map itself it's not huge but it's not tiny but then that is just you know the one small area right so this is just the the black river area and then you've got the other areas that you unlock and there's there's four areas in alaska and in, in michigan sorry four areas in alaska and three areas in russia and that's what's included with the game you've got your 40 i believe trucks um I think there was 40 that you can buy so there's like 40 trucks here that you can buy well I say trucks 40 vehicles some of them are not trucks so you've got your your highway ones that are for driving on roads you've got your heavy duty trucks you've got your heavy trucks you've got your off-road trucks and your scout vehicles um, and it tells you okay so there's whether you you can uh, the fuel capacity is there everything actually that's pretty cool so you've got the fuel capacity wrote down there so you can work that out you've got your power to weight ratio your durability your fuel consumption you've got the suspension type that it comes with the tire type the whether it's got all-wheel drive which is you know all I, like that one it's always on but that one it's switchable and then like some of them i'm guessing will have 
no all-wheel drive like the one I'm using now. Uh, then you've got your differential lock, which is switchable or capable of it. Like this one says it's capable of differential lock. Don't know what the capable means because this one is always on and this one is switchable. Maybe you can upgrade that to have a differential lock. I don't know. But I I really like this game and I cannot wait to just get into it properly. But right now I need food. It's that simple. I need food. So thank you uh, to those people who are watching. I did see someone, uh, at least one or two people subscribed, which is awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I don't stream tons, but, you know, uh, when I do stream, I... Uh, I appreciate you know if people subscribe or, or, or like my videos and stuff like that um, I don't monetize my account that's something that I want to I want to oh sorry I've just I've not been having any notifications come up and I've just noticed people have been asking me questions um, okay so let's have a look through this okay so people have been looking at it um, why isn't it in the US PlayStation Store? It should be. This is um, from the US Store. I had to search for it to find it though. So, um, yeah, like I would advise searching for it. I got the uh, premium edition. Um, so, let's see. Do, 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 do. where's the snow <laughs> the snow is in Alaska I, I don't know how long ago that was that you asked that but there's like there's uh, three maps so there's Michigan which is the one I'm on now which is kind of like a like muddy kind of town I guess uh, I, I don't know if there's any snow in any of the other areas like in Michigan but I, I think from what I can tell is you've got Alaska which is very snowy you've got uh, Michigan which is a mixture of you know mud and asphalt kind of just like a small town area and then you've got Russia which I believe Russia is probably going to be like really muddy like it was in the first game um, are they coming with mods yes mod support is out on PC from day one and mod support will be coming to PS4 in, a f in the future they are working on it they already said mod support is coming um do the mirrors work on the ps4 version you know what i've never even checked let's 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 have a look what am i doing uh i'm guessing no i mean i don't think they they work properly like you can see like that i'm moving but um, let's no I think it's safe to say no no they do not which kind of sucks I don't know if they work in the uh, PC version obviously um, it's definitely something that would have been good to have especially you know if you are playing in in first person just having mirrors that work that would be better I think the that's a that is a little disappointing I'll give you that it would be nice so you could you know line everything up I mean you can look out your window and uh, but yeah mirrors would have been good I, I wonder if like maybe maybe you can turn mirrors on I never even checked I guess not so yeah that's that's a, a little bit of a disappointing one I don't know if they work on the PC version um, let's have a look it is out on ps4 uh, i just saw that one pop up um, that's what i'm playing it on so it came out today so depending dependent on where you are in the world it should be out pretty much everywhere soon obviously um the first place to get it was new zealand they got it like at midnight then it came out in australia then it worked its way west to uh, America where it should be out in America now everywhere I do believe it came out at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time I believe which was like 4 p.m. here so I had to wait until then because I got it off the American store um, is it worth getting the premium with the season pass I think so um, I I mean it all depends on the person if, if you liked 
the first mud runner game like i i love it then i'd say it's definitely worth it because even like the few little bits of dlc that that came with were great i love the american wilds dlc when it comes to the season pass for this they've gone a little overboard in my personal opinion i do believe it's five pieces of dlc now i know at least a few of them come with their own regions now i don't know if those regions are going to be separate to like separated like this game is so like i'm saying like if i go to the global map i'm not sure if it's just going to be one of these areas here or like it's going to be split into four or maybe three or maybe two i don't know or if it's just going to be one area or maybe like you know they'll add so you've got michigan alaska and tamir i i can't remember what area it is uh yeah i got it off the ps store i don't remember fully what area it is it's a different area to michigan alaska and tamir but i believe it's in america still like the the new area that's going to come with the dlc now i don't know if that's going to be like an area and each piece of subsequent dlc is going to add to that one area or if they're all going to have completely separate areas i'm trying to find the list here of um what there will be and uh, i found i found the uh Thing. so there's there's phase so there's different phases so there's four phases sorry um so there's four phases the first one is search and recover and give me two seconds i'm just trying to find there was a list which had them all You can find it on so there's four pieces of dlc and at least one of them comes with a new area and i cannot remember okay so there we go phase one which is the search and recover phase um it has new trucks and new missions obviously um it's not really i i think i'm meant to be listening to this it has new customization options for the new trucks and, and things like that phase two explore and expand so i'm trying to i'm trying to find a list of of what they have Okay, I think I've, I think I may have found a written list. Okay, here we go. I've got a I've got a written list. So it's it's basically a year worth of content. So I think they're going to release it quarterly. So you got three months, and then they'll release the first piece of DLC, and then three months after the second. So there are details of three of the updates the first is search and recover and it takes place in the heart of russia players can expect beautiful snowy landscapes with challenging terrains to overcome new missions will be available one of which involves retrieving an old school world war ii bomber next up is explore and expand which is set in canada so there we go there's a new reason region um blah 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 which will have new cargo uh you'll be basically just taking cargo around to places uh locate and deliver which is greener pastures of wisconsin so another new map so we've got canada and wisconsin maps coming for definite and that says it's like a a greener like pass green pastures and beautiful areas and stuff like that there won't be any snow so it'll just be like like michigan more or less i'd assume and then there's another expansion which they have not said anything about 
they haven't they it's basically just a complete secret so we we don't know what it is it could be a new map it could be low but it's it's the last expansion so you know the first expansion is in russia now it could be a new area it could be the fact that like see we've got four separate areas for michigan four separate areas for alaska and only three for tamir it could be that they add another section to tamir i don't know but then there's also a canada region coming which again i don't know if it's just going to be one of these maps or whether it's going to be like bundled into like two three or four like these are and then there's um wisconsin coming so that's that's the first three dlc packs and the fourth one we we don't know what's coming in it i don't know if they're gonna keep it a secret till it comes out or if they're just gonna you know maybe they're working on it right now and they don't want to say anything yet until they've got it all fully ready i don't know but i i'm hoping for a new map i i i love traveling open worlds i love just exploring so a new map would be great but anyway um that's that's about it um i don't know why it's not coming up with notifications i guess i've got my notifications off um so i'm not seeing when people message i'll try and fix that for the next time i i stream but uh yeah um as for a few of the others um yeah the game is fun um like i said i think it's worth getting it for the premium pass especially like for new maps i will buy a season pass straight away if it has new maps because like i said i love exploring but that's just me it, it really depends if you think it's worth it um from what i've seen of the season pass content it seems like they're adding a hell of a lot to it and i think i think quantity wise is there a premium is the premium edition better to be fair there's not much difference the only difference between the premium edition and the standard edition is you get all the dlc with the premium premium edition again none of that's out yet it will be coming out i think the first piece will drop in about three months i think i don't know they could it could be sooner but i think it's going to be like a quarterly thing um for the price for what you'll get as well like this is what i was just saying i really think like the the amount of content you're gonna get with the season pass is gonna make it worthwhile sometimes you know season passes these days are a bit of a ripoff like like call of duty season passes like i've seen a lot of people hate them you know you'll pay 40 pound literally the same price as you pay for the whole base game you'll pay that again for the season pass and what you'll get is a bunch of rehashed maps that you've already played a million times before that really don't look that much better with this you're getting new missions new vehicles new areas to explore new customization options i i can't tell i don't know how many missions it's going to be but i'm assuming a decent amount there's a few games out there that i believe do dlc right and this may actually be one of them because i really do think there's going to be a lot of content that comes out for your money when you pay, when you think that here in the uk it, i think it's 20 pound for the season pass and it's uh 40 pound for the game you're paying half the price of the full retail game but i do believe you're probably getting about half the amount of content at least at least i mean it may the, the dlc may amount to the same amount of content that's in the base game for all we know i think there's there's a few games that i think deserve you getting a season pass um one was definitely the witcher 3 the witcher 3 did dlc right um dying light did dlc right you know season pass decent content i think this is going to be the same i really do uh, and that's why i bought the season pass they released the trailer if you if you haven't seen it there is a trailer out there which kind of runs through briefly what will be included in the dlc packs it's four pieces of dlc they look decent size they look like they've got some good content in them so yeah i personally think that the um 
premium edition is the way to go you won't really get much now you get access to a few vehicles um there's a few skin sets and stuff like that which are included right now which it's up to you if you think they're worth it the only thing you do have to pay for separately is like the pre-order vehicle which i believe is like one pound two pound something which i probably won't buy because i think it's a bit overpowered and i, I probably won't use it because it will make me feel like i'm shooting myself in the foot or taking my taking some gameplay out because if i can drive through everywhere as easy as anything then it kind of defeats the object of the game but yeah like honestly i i do think it's worth getting the premium edition if you haven't played the game before it's gonna be a tough one like i i think for someone who really liked mudrunner premium premium edition is the way to go 100 percent. but if you haven't played any of them it's gonna be hard because you could play the game and not like it it's it's a very niche game you know it's a great niche game but it it's still you know like it's not everyone's cup of tea so i'm gonna i'm gonna exit now anyway because this this truck is just but yeah um when it comes to the premium edition personally i i do think it's great i don't know how much content it's it's going to have i need to adjust that brightness um but yeah i mean it, it is down to you really if you like the game excuse me if you liked mudrunner it's very much the same you're not going to be out of your element here it's it's very very similar to mudrunner it's just a much larger scale if you liked mudrunner and you're just like i just want to play mudrunner over and over again with more content then yeah definitely get the game and definitely get the season pass so get you know the premium edition or if you can't afford the premium edition i think it only really saves you about five pound five dollars if you buy them separate you can buy of course the game itself physically and then buy the season pass you can buy the game physically and get the deluxe uh premium edition with the season pass included you can buy the game digitally on its own and then get the season pass or you can buy it it's a premium edition. so you can do it however you want if you if you want to try the game out first and then if you like it get the season pass i mean it, it you might pay more in the end if you like them both if you want to get it but again if you buy it and you don't like it at least then you've not bought a 20 pound 20 dollar season pass for a game you're not going to play that much so i did the same with um a few games i i really avoid season passes a lot of the time when games first come out i don't really get the deluxe edition like uh far cry 5 i bought this the deluxe edition of far cry 5 the day it came out and i have not played a single piece of the dlc content because i really didn't get to grips with far cry 5 the main reason i bought far cry 5 uh, premium deluxe edition is because it came with a free early access copy of Far Cry 3 which is one of my favorite Far Cry games so I, I do it with a lot of games where I, I will buy the season pass early and then I'll just never play the DLC I did it with um, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and i've literally only just started replaying that game and i'm just about to start going through some of the dlc missions because i just kind of get a bit disappointed like i'll i'll get excited for a game and i'll think this game's going to be amazing and i'll buy it and then the day it comes out i'll i'll play it a little bit and i'll either have already bought the season pass or i'll play a little bit of the game and i'll go okay i'm getting the season pass for this because this game is awesome and then by the time the season pass content comes out i'm bored of the game just ridiculously bored however mudrunner is one of those exceptions where i've kind of since i bought the game i've played it at least a few times every few weeks like i i've been playing it this last week i've been playing it the week before i just keep coming back to it so for me it's definitely worth it so that's all i can really say anyway sorry i've rambled on for a lot longer than i expected to um i i need to get food it's now literally been 24 hours since i ate 
um, which would explain the shaking. <laughs> I'm actually shaking right now. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to have. I'll figure it out. But that's it, folks. Um, thank you to everyone who has watched. Thank you to people who have commented. And I hope I've given you some insight. I try to, as I say, I don't stream a lot. But when I stream, the, the good thing about me streaming and uh, not having that many subscribers, I know I've got a lot of subscribers, a lot more than I thought I would have. But the good thing about not having too many people in my streams is I can communicate with people you see a lot of streamers and they don't read their messages they just kind of you know they'll say thank you to people to who subscribe to them but they'll just carry on with the game like I, I will try and like if someone asks me a question I will try and answer the question and if I can show you something in the game I will do that because it's just more fun that way the you know back and forth interaction for it's fun for me and it's fun for you guys so that's it um, I'm going to call it a day for now. I might come on later. I might stream a bit later. I might just play a bit on my own without having to worry about streaming and all that. I don't know. I'll see how I feel after I've ate. So thank you again to everyone who's watching and uh, who watches in the future. And uh, as always, I will see you next time.